What's up guys? Kaz here with another update video. <clears throat> um, you've probably heard by now, but YouTube has decided to change the barriers of entry to their monetization program. Um, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this. This will directly affect me. Um, I do have less than 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Uh, now my watch time is mainly due to the fact that uh, most of my videos are pretty short. If you take a look at uh, the majority of my videos, you know, the GR runs and Diablo and, you know, all that kind of stuff, they're very short. Um, two to ten minutes in length, no longer than that uh, for the most part. Now, with that said, um, the reason we didn't, or I didn't really put out a video yesterday um, to talk about it immediately is we wanted to wait a little bit and see what was going to happen. Um, I wanted to see if YouTube would retract this decision. Uh, especially after like the huge backlash from the community uh, and videos complaining about it and Reddit just kind of blowing up. Wanted to see if YouTube was going to respond to it. I don't think they have, uh, or at least not in the way that I expected them to. Um, so we're just going to move on uh, and go forward as is. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to see what other people were kind of um, deciding on what to do. Some of the other channels that I follow uh, wanted to see what they were going to do, uh, if they had some opportunities or if they had some other options, uh, if they are going to move to Vimeo or if they are going to do something else. Um, I think most of the, the other channels that I follow, they have decided to call it quits. Um, one of the channels has decided to move to a different platform. Uh, another one has decided to just, you know, kind of take a break from video editing, video making, and whatnot. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it sucks for them. Um, I'm not gonna really, you know, identify them or call them out or anything like that. Um, I did offer to help them set up uh, Patreon and all that kind of stuff. But I think with all the drama that's been going on and there were some issues with their channel that they were suffering from or trying to recover from, you know, before, even then, I think they decided that that wasn't what they wanted to do, oh, or, sorry, where they wanted to go, and, um, decided just to take a break for the time being. Uh, so, uh, talking a little bit more about from YouTube side, YouTube did mention somewhere that, uh, most of the people that were affected were earning less than $100 a month off of the ad revenue, um, I mean, okay, that's 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 fine. If that's what your statistics are telling you, that's great. Um, I'm probably earning significantly even less than that. But I mean, if you really think about it, $100 a month, um, that that pays for my Adobe CC uh, license subscription, right? That pays for me to have the tools to create thumbnails uh, through Illustrator or Photoshop to, you know, put videos together through Premiere Pro or FX, um what is the other one, Effects CC or whatever, uh, that pays for that. Um, so $100 a month is enough for me to, you know, record gameplay and break even on YouTube. Um, I, you know, I'm sure there's other ways of recording videos that are cheaper, um, more cost efficient and whatnot, but I mean, that's my process and $100 a month pays for that. Um, as I followed some of the events yesterday, I did notice two things, um, and I I'm sure YouTube did not mean for these to kind of take off the way that it they did, um, but I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious. I mean, it's, it's, what did you expect? <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be an ass or anything, but what did you expect? Um, if you follow all the stories and everything, sub for sub took off like crazy. Um, Reddit was flooded with sub for sub requests. It still is flooded with sub for sub requests. Um, there's even something going on now called a watch for watch, where people are promising to, you know, watch a couple videos and, um, you know, sub and like to those videos if the, um, the creator that they do that to does the same, uh, for them. Um, I've, e I've actually even seen, uh, very briefly on Fiverr, you know, a couple Fiverr jobs saying, hey, pay me five bucks and I'll sub to your YouTube channel and watch your YouTube channel for, you know, an hour or something like that. Um, I even saw a guy, you know, saying that he was going to donate his Blade server and, you know, create instances of Chrome just to watch through videos and help people increase their watch times. 
so you know whatever YouTube does I think you know there's there's going to be people who are trying to game the system and you know try and just get back up to where they are um, I honestly to me it's like this definitely hurts the smaller guys uh, like me um, for me to be able to grow to a point where I can meet the thousand subscriber mark 4,000 hours of watch time mark um, it's gonna take me a long time I'm not gonna sit here and game the system I don't think that's really appropriate I feel like you know if that's what it's gonna take for me to start earning YouTube ad revenue then maybe YouTube ad revenue isn't what I should be gaming for uh, maybe what I should be looking for is sponsorships um, patreon or uh, maybe just moving to a different platform uh, that I haven't really decided yet um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to let this bog us down. Um, I'm still going to be here creating videos. Uh, I think IYP is still going to stay on YouTube. We do have a staff meeting to talk about whether or not we are going to stay on YouTube or move to a different platform. More than likely, we'll probably stay here on YouTube because this is where we feel comfortable. This is where we've been. When we move to a different platform, we'll probably see the same issues. And... We'll probably have people making bad decisions again, so there's not really, not really a uh, a reason for us to move to a different platform at this point. I'll also be creating YouTube videos, uh, as you can see, this Guild Wars video here. Um, I've done um, probably not as often, probably not as quickly as I have been used to. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I do want to make sure that y'all realize that we are still here. We are still making videos. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, about the um, fact that I'm playing Guild Wars here. Yes, I'm still debilitated um, with the aspect that I'm still having problems with my PC. Uh, I've replaced the memory, but I'm still getting some blue screen, so we're starting to think that there's something wrong with the motherboard itself. Uh, I'm able to do small things here and there. Um, like Guild Wars, I'm, I'm fine with. Uh, Diablo 3, where it's kind of... It's not really graphically intensive, there's just too many numbers going on in the freaking screen. Or like Destiny 2, where it is actually, you know, graphically intensive. Those seems tend to trigger the crash, tend to cause my system to crash or restart or just bug out. Um, a lot, those, you know, tend to do that a lot more than Guild Wars does right now, so... For the time being, you'll probably see a lot of Guild Wars videos, as that's the only thing I'm able to do at this point. And then, um, in the near future, um, hopefully I'll be able to start uh, doing a little bit more Diablo 3. And guess what? Since, you know, YouTube has given me the finger in terms of monetization, I guess we might start streaming some Destiny 2 stuff, because it really doesn't matter if it gets monetized or not at this point, does it? That's all I got for now. I guess I'll talk to y'all next time. And uh, hopefully with better news than what I have today.